Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing a brief stock analysis on the video game company and publisher and developer EA, and I've actually done a few other video game uh, developing companies on this channel if you do want to come check those out, and overall I think video game developer developers are a really great investment. So without further ado, let's get right into it. In the last five years, the stock price of EA has come up 183%, which is really, really good for a growth stock. As you can see, about a year ago, EA's stock price started to do a bit of a dive bomb, and tech stocks in general did uh, pretty badly during that time, but EA did particularly bad. And part of that reason as well was because a lot of players were really sick of the microtransactions in a lot of EA games, so their public image really got hurt during that time, and which really affected the stock price. As you can see, relatively steady revenue in the last four years with a bit of a decline in 2019, but I think by the end of the year we will absolutely see that go up because they have a lot of their games launched that do it really well in quarters three and four, and they did really well in quarter two as well. And then pretty steady streams of earnings the last four years, not really any big news there. Next up, I wanted to talk on a few points given by a analyst at Morningstar who gave EA a buy rating and then the first one is just basically that they've made a couple of new development engines which will help drive down the costs of building really high quality games and that's definitely good uh, lower costs is always great for companies as long as they can still make really good products so definitely a plus there the second one is one I wanted to talk a little bit more about. It is EA dominates the sports genre of the game industry accounting for nearly 50% of sports game sales. And I'm really surprised it's not even more than 50% because they make the Madden games, NHL games, and the FIFA games, and those are by far the biggest sports games that I can even think of. So I'm really even more surprised that it's not much bigger than that. And then the third point is also extremely important for the stock growth as well in the future, and it is that EA is expanding a new, into new segments such as online and mobile gaming. They made uh, Apex Legends, which I'm actually going to talk about more in a minute, as well as some other online games. And then mobile gaming, I really don't follow much mobile gaming, but I know it can be extremely profitable if you can make successful and very popular mobile games. And then I also wanted to take a look at a couple of points at an, by an analyst at Morningstar who gave EA a sell rating. And the first one is actually, it took me a minute to think about what it was talking about, but it is as follows. The casual gamer demographic has been a major contributor to recent growth of the video game market. Despite recent investments, EA has traditionally been weak in the casual gaming segment. So EA makes annual releases of a first person shooter battlefield. They've made Apex just this year and they make competitive sports games every year. But a lot of the growth in the video game market recently has been games that you can very casually play just kind of relax playing on an afternoon like an rpg or something and then you can make a ton of money through microtransactions and dlcs and whatnot but that's not something that ea has specialized in and i know ea is already making a ton of money on their competitive games so i don't know if they need to spend a bunch of money to make some casual games as well so not a huge problem there the second point is that ea competes with larger first party video game publishers such as nintendo sony and microsoft which all have much greater resources and advantage in developing games for their own gaming consoles and this is definitely a problem for all third-party publishers, but EA is actually one of the biggest third-party publishers, and Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo are actually not doing a ton to compete with EA with the yearly uh, sports game launches. Um, EA still dominates that field, and then also Battlefield is doing extremely well with also just competing with another, another third-party publisher. Which brings me into my next point, which is their main competition, which is Activision Blizzard. And we think if we think back six, seven, eight years ago, Activision Blizzard was way bigger than EA, but now EA is just about a $10 billion market cap uh, smaller than Activision Blizzard with them having about a $38 billion market cap and Activision, or I'm sorry, EA having about a $28 billion market cap. And if you can remember back to the beginning of the video, we also so, saw much stronger growth in the last five years with EA than we have with Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard has had some pretty bad games um, on their annual releases in the last five years. So definitely a huge plus for the competition with EA there. EA has also launched EA Access in the last year, which is doing extremely well. It's almost like a Netflix for video games where you pay a monthly fee and then you can play all of the different video games um, within that library. 
Um, I know with PlayStation and Xbox with Microsoft and Sony it's done extremely well and I was having a little bit of trouble finding the financials for how well EA Access have done but I do know they are highly profitable already and I can pretty much assume that they will be for several years to come. In quarters three and four of this year, we are going to see at least three big releases from NA with Madden NHL and FIFA 2020 coming out. So I'm sure we are going to have extremely profitable uh, quarters from EA to come, as well as they're probably going to be some doing something with Battlefield later this year. They usually do an annual huge release, but they may be mixing it up a bit this year. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Next up, I just wanted to talk about Apex Legends, which was published by EA, which is a battle royale game very similar to Fortnite. Fortnite is making millions, if not tens of millions of dollars every single day, and it has been the most successful game by far for the last couple of years. So it's absolutely great that Apex Legends is taking a piece of that market share for themselves. They don't have nearly as many concurrent or total players at this point. But for them to get any slice of that market share is going to be extremely profitable for EA. And this will be profitable for them for years to come, um, aside from their yearly releases for their sports games and whatnot that are only playable for a year or so until the next one's released. I have done brief stock analysis videos on Take-Two Interactive, Activision Blizzard, and Tencent. If you are interested in investing in the gaming industry, please do come check those out to see which one you think is the best investment for you. If you have any questions, please do let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe for more content, and thank you so much for watching to the end.